Hey guys, today we are making Black Forest cake in a cup. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Here I've got my dry ingredients, which is some flour, some cocoa powder, baking powder, baking soda, and a pinch of salt. I've also got some vegetable oil and some vanilla extract, as well as one egg, some granulated sugar, and we also got some buttermilk. Now you can make your own buttermilk by um, getting some whole milk and using some either vinegar or lemon juice and letting it curdle a little bit and then you got yourself some buttermilk or um, you can buy your own. I've made mine and what I did was I mixed my dry ingredients Now I'm going to add in my egg and my buttermilk to my oil and vanilla and mix that up. You are also going to need some boiling hot water which I have set aside and we're just going to mix everything together. I've mixed my wet I'm just going to add in my dry, which I did previously mix everything well together. And now we're going to add in our boiling hot water. I'm going to add in about one tablespoon of that. Because we do have egg in there and we don't want to cook that egg. So we're just going to add one tablespoon, mix it up, and then add the rest of boiling hot water to it. Continue to give everything a really nice mix until it's really well and um, everything is really well mixed. And we're also going to preheat our oven to 300 degrees. And... And we're going to fill up our cupcake tins with the batter, which I have. I did spray my cupcake tins with nonstick spray, of course. And we have some shavings here from some chocolate chips. Um, just used my chocolate chips on a grater. Be careful with your fingers. Uh, you can use any chocolate that you like. I used white chocolate chips and some of my sweet chocolate chips. Here we've got our cupcakes, which are done baking. And I've cut them in half. I've cut one in half and I cut a circle in the top. Obviously not perfect, as you can see. What we're going to do is we're going to fill it with cherry pie filling um, to make sort of like a cupcake, a Black Forest cupcake. So we're going to go ahead and fill the first one with our cherry pie filling and just take some of that sauce and just around on the top of it. And you're just going to put your whipping cream on top. Um, for the other one, what you want to do is open it up and put it in the center, some of that cherry and that sauce. And then top it with your... Um, whipped cream. Now I really love this recipe because it's so simple and you don't have to be perfect with it but these two are not my favorite ways to do this. I'm going to show you my favorite way right now. I have some cute, I have these cute little um, coffee cups that I'm going to use but I'm going to show you in a clear glass which I do use as well sometimes but you can use any cute little cup that you have and I've cut my cupcakes in about three pieces, two to three pieces. I'm going to put one piece of the cupcake at in there now the great thing about this you don't have to cut these perfect like if you would a black forest cake I'm gonna put some of my cherry pie filling on top and then I'm gonna put another piece of that cupcake in there then I'm gonna go ahead and put some whipped cream um, I'm just gonna continue doing this cake cherries whipped cream or you can you know do it however you like but the whole point is to just get the cake and the cherries and the whipping cream in there whatever order you like if you want cake cherries and whipped cream, then cake, cherries, whipped cream, you know, go ahead and do your thing. But I'm just doing every la every level, like every layer has like a piece of cake. And then, so we're going to top it off, finish it up and top it off with a little bit of the cherry sauce and then a little bit of the whipped cream on top. And um, the great another great thing about this is that you don't have to let this sit in the fridge for hours to set. You can serve this right away as soon as you're done. So you don't have to wait hours to have your Black Forest cake. I put whipped cream on top and a cherry, and then I'm also gonna put in that um, chocolate shavings that I, that I grated. And that is it. I mean, this is so easy to do and it's so delicious. Here I'm using a spoon just to show you that you can use a spoon instead of using a piping bag. But do whatever you like. Decorate it however you like. Be as fancy as you want. Um, and I really hope that you guys enjoy this recipe. All the, all the amounts will be listed in the description box below. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.